Hey YouTubers, Zach here, and um, I figured it would be a good time right now to do a part two to, uh, or a number two I should say, to the desktop versus laptop for your uh, mobile DJing. And the reason I'm doing a second video to that is because, well, I broke down and bought a laptop. So I'm going to set this guy up quick over there. We'll uh, take a break and we'll go over some, uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages again. And maybe some new points. So I'll uh, be back in a second. All right, so here we are. We got it uh, set up. I don't have everything installed on it yet. I actually just got that baby yesterday. Um, kind of surprised. I thought it wasn't supposed to come until after Christmas. But um, so I'm still trying to get everything on it, software and, and music and everything else. Um, but uh, first off, this guy here, I had this one custom built. Again, I ordered it on the internet, and um, it has a 160 gig hard drive, but uh, it is a 7200 7, RPM hard drive, which for laptops, from what I've seen, is kind of a rare thing. Um, it also has two gigs of RAM. It has uh, an, it's an Intel Core 2 Duo processor. I think it's a 7100, and um, it has uh, NVIDIA 8600. M GT 512 megabyte uh, graphics card in it, and it says it has high definition sound. Nothing fancy for the sound output. Um, and of course, the the operating system I'm running is not Vista; it is XP. That's the main reason I went with custom built versus HP or Dell, because I couldn't find any options on their websites to put XP on there. So um, it has a uh, what do you call that crap that I don't use? Um, can't even think of it right now. Bluetooth. That's it. It has all that extra junk on it that I'll probably never use. Wireless, Ethernet, and all this stuff. Now, this is the first laptop I've ever owned. And uh, this guy here cost me uh, quite a bit, actually. It cost me $1,400. And um, for, for what I got, though, I think I did pretty good. Um, it's not like I got a hell of a deal on it or nothing like that. But uh, I, the big thing I wanted to stay away from was Vista. And I didn't want to buy a Vista computer and then put XP on it and hope that I could get everything that's on that laptop, you know, driver-wise to work with XP. I just wanted to, you know, be safe and sound with that. A few things that I don't like about this guy here, right off the bat, is when I just booted it up, I plugged the audio cable in right away, brought my mixer up to Unity Gain on the master and on the channel that the laptop is plugged into, and I could hear the hard drive loading through that very faintly but I could still hear it through the speakers which I was like well that kind of sucks um, the other thing is I can't figure this out I'm going to turn this, the mixer all the way down you're going to play a song I'll turn master down too you hear that as I get a phone call here busy I got this plugged in I still got sound coming in through that laptop I can't figure that crap out now, it maybe won't bother me because I'm going to end up going to a um, Creative Audigy, uh the, the little card that plugs into this, your side or whatever. I'm going to end up upgrading the sound card pretty much right away anyways before I even start gigging with it. So hopefully that will get rid of the hard drive noise and it will hopefully make these damn speakers shut off. Now, that's not the biggest problem in the world. I mean, I could probably live the, with that if I can't get that to, to straighten out. But... Um, that's one of the, the small things that I don't like about it. The, another thing, of course, is the cost. Now, I bought my desktop for with tax and everything was $800. Um, and actually, I just noticed a comment on that other video that someone said that wasn't a very good deal. Well, at the time when it was built, a year ago, um, with what is into that desktop, I think that's, that wasn't a bad deal at all. Um, versus if I were to buy an HP or a or a Dell, or, or Compaq, or, or whoever, an Ace, or whatever. Um, I had that guy custom built to exactly what I wanted. No, no extra frills. It boots up in, you know, seconds. It's, it doesn't have all that extra junk that they put on from the manufacturers. So, um, it's a really good machine. This one here takes a little bit longer to boot up, but it also has a lot more stuff running. It has the battery crap, and your wireless this, and this and that, and Bluetooth this, and all, all that other extra junk that has to, to boot up. But still, this guy boots up pretty fast, too. Um, being that I don't have all that extra HP software, bold junk, or um, Dell, or whatever else. So, um, 
the biggest the biggest advantage to the laptop I think that the laptop has over a desktop and I don't want to say it's it's, its only advantage but the the one big advantage that they have is is size um, here's my laptop and now it's just size is a normal laptop here uh, here's my sound system I got a, a non-powered mixer running two powered speakers right so let's say I go to a gig I'm pretty much only going to use this for weddings anyways uh, before I'd have to bring a bin a nice uh, an 18 gallon bin just to haul my desktop around in to that wedding wanted karaoke I need to bring a TV and um, then I'd have to bring an extra bin with all my um, cables and power crap and all, you know everything else well these speakers I have covers for them and those covers they have pouches in the front in the front of the covers so I can fit my speaker cables my power cables for the <laughs> excuse me for the speakers and uh, that stuff into uh, into the front pouch of these speakers then I have a mixer I don't have a case for that yet which I want to buy a <laughs> excuse me again case for that mixer but then I, I carry around my mixer and then for my laptop I got a fairly decent sized case it's a roller case inside here I can fit my laptop and I can actually fit my monitor for my desktop computer in here now why would I want to do that well if it's a wedding and they want karaoke I slide that monitor in here instead of a television and I hook it up to my laptop and voila I got a nice little LCD monitor used for karaoke instead of having a big old uh, television set and then in this back pouch I can fit my wireless mics any extra cables that I need and uh, and what whatnot and I pretty much have my sound system then uh, for the most part I'll probably bring a small bin of extra cables and stuff like that you know for emergency purposes and then of course I have to load up my my light show and everything else but by cutting back by using this laptop cut away and I'll show you so I went from having to carry this around for sound mixer up there to oh, push this big heavy bins this for the most part of course saves uh, space in the Aztec or in the Jeep whatever I bring um, if I can just figure out the, the sound issues that I'm having that'd be great and another thing another problem that I'm having too is um, if I have the charger plugged into that I get a little bit of a, a hum noise a ground noise or it sounds like so um, you guys uh, that have used these laptops or and have worked these bugs out if you could let me know what you've done to fix the, those issues that'd be awesome like I said I'm going to go with creative route with the sound card hopefully that'll fix all that crap the noise interference from the hard drive and everything else but otherwise I'm happy with the computer it uh, fits into here or smaller case if I wanted to but um, there you go so it's a horse apiece I think that's that's my take on it still um, you're, there's still trade-offs and each one has their advantages in different ways so so there you have it, folks. Um, I broke down about a laptop, but I'm still going to use my desktop for bar gigs. And um, I'll use this guy pretty much for only weddings. So leave comments, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Practice and enjoy.